Today we're going to discuss Ethereum. We'll look at what is Ethereum, the history behind it. Is Ethereum more than just a cryptocurrency? What companies are involved with Ethereum? How to buy Ethereum? Which is better, Ethereum or Bitcoin? And lastly, should we invest? It is time to turn your world upside down, as you're about to learn that Ethereum is a game changer for cryptocurrency. What is Ethereum? Ethereum is a blockchain platform with its own cryptocurrency called Ether or ETH or Ethereum and its own programming language called Solidity. As a blockchain network, Ethereum is a decentralized public ledger for verifying and recording transactions. The network's users can create, publish, monetize and use applications on the platform and use the Ether cryptocurrency as payment. As a cryptocurrency, Ethereum is the second in market value only to Bitcoin as of July 2021. Now let's look into understanding Ethereum. Ethereum was created to enable developers to build and publish smart contracts and distribute application dApps that can be used without the risk of downtime, fraud or interference from a third party. Ethereum describes itself as the world's programmable blockchain. It distinguishes itself from Bitcoin as a programmable network that serves as a marketplace for financial services, games and apps, all of which can be paid for through the Ethereum Ether cryptocurrency and be safe from fraud, theft or censorship. So what is Ethereum in simple terms? Ethereum, like any blockchain, is a database of information that is designed to be unhackable. Ethereum is the cryptocurrency used to complete transactions on the blockchain. Unlike in the traditional database information, in a blockchain is organized as a chronological chain made up of blocks of data. For instance, every transaction using an Ether coin must be verified and recorded as an additional block on the coin's unique blockchain. This is a process of recording every transaction in a sequence is the reason that a blockchain is often compared to a ledger. Ethereum founders and history Ethereum was launched in July 2015 by a small group of blockchain enthusiasts. They include Joe Lubin, founder of Consensus, a blockchain application developer that uses the Ethereum network. Another co-founder, Vitalik Buterin, is credited with originating the Ethereum concept and now serves as the company CEO and its public face. Buterin is sometimes described as the world's youngest crypto billionaire he was born in 1994. The Ether cryptocurrency was designed to be used within the Ethereum network. However, like Bitcoin, Ether is now an accepted form of payment by some merchants and services vendors, including Overstock, Shopify and Cheapy are amongst the online sites that accept Ether as payment. Now let's look into Ethereum's projects. Ethereum claims that platform can be used to codify, decentralize, secure and trade just about anything. A number of projects are underway to test this concept. Microsoft is in partnership with Consensus to offer Ethereum blockchain as a service on the Microsoft Azure cloud. It is intended to offer enterprise clients and developers a single click cloud based blockchain. In 2020, Advanced Micro Devices AMD and Consensus announced a joint venture to create a network of data centers built on the infrastructure. The founders of Ethereum were amongst the first to consider the potential of a blockchain technology for use beyond the secure training of virtual currency. Its Ethereum cryptocurrency was created primarily as a medium of payment for apps built on its platform. Its vulnerability to hackers and other snoopers has opened up possibilities for the storage of a private information from healthcare records to voting systems. Its reliance on cryptocurrencies opened up opportunities for programmers to create and market games and business applications on the network. A blockchain may be invulnerable to hackers' attacks, but it's not for the lack of trust. In 2016, a malicious actor stole more than 50 million worth of Ethereum that had been raised for a project called the DAO, a set of smart contracts created by a third party originating from Ethereum's software platform. The successful raid was blamed on a third party developer. The Ethereum community opted to reverse the theft by creating a hard fork, invalidating the existing blockchain and creating a second Ethereum blockchain. The original is known as the Ethereum Classic. The number of Ethereums in circulation crossed the $100 million mark back in 2018. 
Unlike Bitcoin, there is no limit to the number of Ethereums that can be created. Ethereum is currently undergoing a long-awaited upgrade known as the Ethereum 2.0, which is intended to allow the network to scale up while addressing congestion problems that have slowed it down in the past. In 2017, a game called CryptoKitty single-handedly slowed down transactions on the platform. Ethereum has wider ambitions than Bitcoin, and it wants to be a platform for all kinds of applications that can store information safely. The criticism of Ethereum? Ethereum faces the same criticism that all cryptocurrency platforms face. Cryptocurrencies may or may not be in a bubble that is about to boost. This debate has been going on since at least 2017, a year during which Bitcoin valued seed soar between about 20,000 and 3,000, now currently seed soaring from 30,000 to 64k Bitcoin. Each of these networks are eating up a vast amount of energy. Cryptocurrency miners in particular are devoting a huge amount of computer power to process. One of China's reasons for cracking down on cryptocurrency there is fossil fuel energy draining by large scale crypto coin mining operations. How to buy Ethereum? Investors use any of the number of cyber currency training platforms to buy and sell Ether or known as Ethereum. The current choice includes Coinbase, Kraken, Bitstamp, Binance and Bitfinex but there are so many more including investing apps like Robinhood and Gemini. Also allow cryptocurrency trade. You have to sign up and verify yourself with identity, purchase some US dollars and away you go. It can be different in each country. Some countries allow you to pay by credit card for instant buying but often come with higher fees. If you're in the US generally you don't get much cost apart from when you buy the product. Valuations are extremely volatile and the people who trade them are trying to capitalize on that volatility. The value of one Ethereum is about 2000 at the moment. It had been above 4000 in mid-May. It was about $231 a year ago. Is Ethereum better than Bitcoin? Unlike the Bitcoin blockchain, the Ethereum blockchain was not created to support a cryptocurrency. If a cryptocurrency was created to provide an in-house currency for applications built on the Ethereum, blockchain. In other words, Ethereum has wider ambitions and wants to be a platform for all kinds of applications that can store information safely. Despite their differences, the two are the creators of virtual currencies that have become rivals in the investing world. And virtual currencies are just that. They are coins that have no physical existence but are represented by a string of codes that can be exchanged at a price agreed upon by a buyer and a seller. Bitcoin has a limit of 21 million Bitcoin where Ethereum has no limit. So what does this mean for you? Should you buy Ethereum? The quick answer is probably yes, but the question is what price? The fact that Ethereum is technically a company makes them more appealing. Now the question is a little bit foggy as some of the creators have side businesses that use Ethereum technology to improve their own companies. Could be a conflict of interest if it became a publicly traded company, if it was created to support payments for goods and service on the Ethereum network initially. But of recent times it has been seen as a store of value like Bit, but Ethereum runs more like a currency. They portray themselves as, as if they can't be hacked, but has been done once, so it can be done again. Businesses are already using Ethereum as payment, which to me for a company, which to me for a business dealing in cryptocurrencies is a little scary, especially when it was near 4,000, you would have got double the coins a week or so later. That is probably why Elon Musk walked away from Bitcoin as a payment at Tesla, as too much volatility. To price Ethereum dollars value, it could easily go to a million or go to zero. Sounds far-fetched, but seems like the new way to spend money. Right now a $2,000 range is probably a real bargain, but I wouldn't touch until the drop to $1,400 range. And my conviction on this one is very conflicted. I'd like to say go all in, but just too many reservations have stopped me from purchasing. In terms of price to value, you would say with Ethereum having way more ways of making money, it's a better value than Bitcoin. But in saying that, Bitcoin only has one idea, and that's to be a store of value. No hidden quirks, as simple as that. But Ethereum ever got to a thousand? I would load the boat. Well, that's me on Ethereum. Remember out there to seek professional advice before buying a stock or cryptocurrency. My videos are for educational and entertainment purposes only. I hope you got some insight into Ethereum that helped you do more research to learn more about crypto. Thanks for coming along.
today as I weave myself through the blockchain looking for new streams of revenue to give me the chance to see the light. Off off and away!